So we made it. Uh, right now we are behind a strip mall uh, in Coral Springs. It looks kind of fishy. Uh, looks like a good area for snakeheads. So we'll check it out. See if we get anything. Stay tuned. pretty deep here. I'm getting about readings of about 16 to 17 feet in the middle, but the sun's beating on this one shoreline, so I'm going to use the uh, one of my favorite snakehead baits, the Kicking Frog from Bruiser Baits, along with a little square of Norm's Bait Buddy, and um, we're going to work this area first. I also have a soft plastic uh, tied on to hit the other side. It looks pretty deep. It's like a rocky wall almost, so I'm going to try that area as well. So I actually saw that snake um, sunning, came up for a little air. I had already cast and knew I was going to head over him. He swiped it. I got a good hook set. He just he broke me off. That was a decent snake. Um, you know, I could sit here and be dejected because I've had such a rough morning so far with fish. I just tie another frog on. Again, the fish are hitting. Had two snakes hit my baits, and um, I think a smaller bass or a peacock on a spinnerbait earlier. So I keep going. That's all we can do is keep going. Because when there's one, there's more. Got a new frog tied on. We'll go from there. I don't think this was the guy that made all the jumping commotion, but he wanted that frog. Pretty coloring. Healthy fish. And get him back in the water. Uh, but I'm also going to start throwing uh, Redline Lures, Pro Series Spinnerbait. I'm going to throw a 3 8 ounce, get it down in deep water a little bit. 
This is the Houdini color. I've talked about this bait on many of my videos. It is my absolute go-to spinner bait. I've caught so many different species on it. Going with a 3 8 ounce, get down deeper in the water, calm a little bit. Right now we're about 10, 11 feet of water, so I'm gonna hit the shoreline over here with the spinner bait first, because it's a little bit deeper. And we'll also go to the dark spin when it shallows up a little bit. So we'll see if we can't get anything over here under the trees. Over the wall. Not overly big, beautiful coloration on this one. Nice light brown. Hit that frog right in the shallows just like you were supposed to. We're gonna um, get him back in the water and see if we can't get any more. Here's what I got him on. Again, my all time favorite snakehead bait. The bruiser bait's kicking frog. Again, this one's in Houdini. No relation to the spinnerbait. Uh, brown with the black flake on top with the natural color with some gold flakes on the bottom. Then straight braid to a three-aught swim bait hook unweighted. A little bit of Uncle Norm's bait, buddy. And that's it. So I was just talking to a local who lives down this way, uh, down the canal a bit, and I guess he's been here a long time. Now if you see the seawall over here, that actually used to be all trees. Um, however, the trees were starting to uproot the privacy wall, so I guess what they've done is tore out all the trees, um, which you'll see all the rock there as well. I think that's to strengthen the foundation. I'm not sure, I'm not an engineer, but all the digging that they've been doing is really dirtied up the water. Uh, the water almost has a green tint to it, so uh, we're trying to find baits that make noise, uh, vibrations, etc. I only got a couple fish, um, but again, I really think that's what's got the water all stained up. When I come back to this area, absolutely, there's a beautiful peacock I caught in here already. Uh, two beautiful snakeheads, so this is definitely a spot to come back to. So we're going to try down the end a little bit more and see if we can't get anything else.
managed for today in another noisy South Florida spot. Um, water's a little dirty from the construction I spoke about earlier, but all in all, I really think this is a great fishery. Uh, I've caught fish on soft plastics, top water, spinnerbaits, uh, three different species today. So overall, I had a good time. I'm out here for the fun. Uh, this is a great place. I'm definitely looking forward to coming back. Just now I have to think of where the next area will be for episode four. So if you like what you've seen, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone is safe during this crazy time during the coronavirus pandemic. Thanks for watching everybody. Tight lines.